What's going on guys, World Watch Yours back again with another big video for you guys. I hope you're all having a lovely day slash evening. Today's video, as always, I'll give you guys the latest Chelsea news, news in, news out in the last 12 hours. Today's topics will be about Kai Havertz and Ben Chill, two of the most topics around Chelsea community. So guys, recently I've been asked for about 300 to 400 likes. Let's try and get this video up to 500 likes. If you want to help out the channel, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. I just want to say a big thank you for over 14,000 subscribers. In the last 28 days, we've gained about 2.1k subscribers. The channel keeps growing. The love, the feedback, the views is amazing. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Yesterday's videos, you all commented where you're tuning in from, what time. But not many of you guys asked that many questions for my next video. So I'm going to ask you guys again, drop your questions below. Let me know what you want me to answer my next video. And just a quick reminder, every Tuesdays, which is tomorrow, I work in the office, 9 to 6 p.m. UK time. So if I do upload, it'll be around 8 p.m. UK time, not your usual time on around 1 p.m. like right now, if you know what I mean. So hopefully you guys remember that because YouTube doesn't notify that many people. But please do search for this channel every single day for updates for all Chelsea news. Now, just before I get into all the topics, I want to ask you guys, who has had the better season? Oli or Lampard? This season now of course United finished ahead of Chelsea but we need to remember Chelsea had a transfer ban lost Eden Hazard started the youth which is a new era for Chelsea we still came fourth we should have came third in my opinion I felt like we let ourselves down in some games Lampard made it to the final but you know United lost three semi-finals in a row so for me Lampard stood out I think he done really well and there'll be no excuses next season with the signings coming in which need to sort out the defense as well but it looks very, very bright for Chelsea. But let me know who you think done better and why in the comments down below. Now, let's talk about Kai Havertz. When he's going to sign? Personally, no source, just my opinion. I really believe he will sign before the start of September. Now, of course, one of the reports that I've been speaking about um, from Jan H that I mentioned in my previous videos when I last on Kai Havertz was saying that Bayer Leverkusen want to do a COVID test around 28th of August or something so if that was to happen and Kai Havertz was to take part he will need to quarantine for another you know 10 to 14 days if he was to leave so we need to be realistic the Premier League starts around the 12th of September which means Chelsea need to get this done before the 28th of August so that's why I was talking about this still being done very soon now from the Bleacher Report Kevin Palmer has come out today and said Chelsea are on the final stages of the deal for Kai Havertz discussions are focusing on the structure of the performance related bonuses so it seems like the initial fee up front has been sorted whether it's 60 70 million we find out very soon it's just about the final bits and pieces to get this deal over and done with now one mistake i made in my previous videos was saying why is it taking so long and you guys simply pointed out that Werner's deal had a release clause chelsea just had to pay that money and then you know personal terms were already agreed beforehand anyway so my apologies about that i should have remembered that i don't know how i forgot that 100% that is correct, which is why Kyavis' deal is taking a bit longer. It will get done. We will get over the line. He will be a Chelsea player very soon. Um, United will not be stealing this player 100% because I don't know if, if they're going to get Sancho or not. I don't think they're going to get Sancho, which is very good news. Maybe Sancho 2021 for Chelsea. Maybe, who knows. But Kyavis will be a Chelsea player very, very soon. Real Madrid can't spend the money right now. Bayern Munich want the player but they cannot spend the money on him next season so Chelsea need to get over the line he wants to move his agreed personal terms the CEO's come out the director of Bayer Leverkusen has come out and said this interest from Chelsea is confirmed um, the manager has basically given away that he'll be joining Kyavis doesn't look bothered the body language everything doesn't look keen at the club right now doesn't really talk to teammates in my opinion but right now we're just getting a deal sorted and he should be a Chelsea player very very soon some Leicester reports yesterday uh, had come out and said that Ben Shaw will be having his medical at Chelsea either today or tomorrow. Sky Sports are saying this week to keep eyes and tabs on the Ben Shaw situation because it looks like he'll be signing for Chelsea. Now, my question is, are we really going to sign Ben Shaw before Kai Havertz? Many people um, are reporting that this deal will be done before Kai Havertz because the medical is going to be done very, very soon. Could have been done today. By the time I do this video, it could be done, which are highly unlikely. But, you know, I'm reporting what's being said right now. Do I believe it? I don't think there will be a medical today or tomorrow. It could be this week. Who knows? Anything in football can happen. He will be a Chelsea player. Um, but this video here is just to keep you guys up to date with Kai Havertz and Ben Chilwell come to Chelsea. Because many of you guys are doubting Kai Havertz for some reason. Asking, 
why is this Kai Havertz taking, uh, deal taking so long? Are we not going to sign this player? Is there a problem? Blah, blah, blah. And many people are getting worried. So, I just want to say these two players are the most, you know, highest targets for Chelsea right now to be signed for the next season, of course. Lampard wants to build his team, the firepower up top with Hakim Ziyech, Timo Werner and Kai Havertz is going to sort out the front three, of course, with Pulisic coming in as well, with the front four. For me, that's probably one of the best attacks that I've seen at Chelsea and it's looking, you know, very bright for Chelsea. We just need to sort out the defence and the goalkeeper. Whether we sign Ben Chill right now, this week, you know, I feel like with the Kai Havertz deal, Timo Werner and Hakim Ziyech will be around 150, 155 million pounds. With the defence and the goalkeeper should be about 100 million pounds, which comes to about 250. As you guys mentioned yesterday in the video, um, that I should be doing a video on players in and players out, and how much money we actually have without taking into consideration the wages and stuff. That will be coming up very, very soon. I want to do it tomorrow, however, because I've got work. You know, time is a bit against me, so maybe on Wednesday or Thursday, I'll try to get that video out for you guys. But as I said, you know, I'm a bit. I'm thinking about it properly. Can Chelsea get all these signings and outgoings done in one window? Well, of course, Liverpool done it across a few windows, which is why Van Dijk came in January. Many people say people that come in January don't really shine and do well. It looks like Van Dijk was a special breed and, of course, best centre-back in the Premier League right now. One that Conte said that he wanted to sign with Alisson as well. Two of the players that have got to Liverpool could have been a different um, scenario. But, however, signing from... Bakayoko, Drinkwater, uh, Morata, and all those players that we signed under Conte era, even though we've got short-term success with the Premier League, we are moving away from the 2017 type of signing, So, which means Chelsea are learning from the past mistakes. It would be nice if you know clubs in the world come out and say, OK, we got this wrong, we got this right, we want to do this, this is the aim of the club, this is the objectives of the club for the next few years. It would be nice to have more insight of what the club's thinking uh, in my opinion, of course, journalists try to get that out for us, but it would be nice to hear football clubs tell us exactly what they think they've done wrong, right, and why they've done certain things. So, um, but yeah, Ben Chilwell should be a Chelsea player very soon. Let me know in the comments below if you think he'll be signing this week. As I said, I'll be very surprised if the deal is done before Kai Havertz, because Kai Havertz was the number one talked topic around Chelsea in the last three months. Um, which is why it's taken ages because we're trying to get every single bits and bobs done for this deal. It's not as simple as Team Werner. Um, as I said, people are getting frustrated because of daily updates, but we need to be realistic. Five years ago, what were you watching? You was probably watching Sky Sports News, who basically just told you agree terms and then sign a new deal. That's it. You didn't hear every bits and bobs of each video, which is why journalists are helping us YouTubers report these news to you guys to summarize it and give our opinions and then ask for your opinions it's made a better place for all all of us basically so we just need to be a bit more patient I need to be a bit more patient as well but this still should be done very very soon um, happy birthday to Bakayoko um, unfortunately your Chelsea career didn't you know work out well you had a fantastic debut with an injury against Tottenham but from that Watford performance I don't think I'll ever forget that um, as I said, if we get at least £20 million for you, bro, we get a profit at least of a few million pounds after all the loan fees and wages that we gave away in the last one or two years. Uh, Chelsea could still make a profit on this player if we were to sell for £20 million. Now, there are expected to be some loan deals next week that we'll be hearing from Chelsea. Many people ask about Xavier, where's that signing? Uh, I'm still waiting as well. He should be a Chelsea player. He will be a Chelsea player. We are just waiting for this deal to be announced as well. So, I'm not sure why it's taking long. I'll be honest with you guys, I am aware that, you know, I said that it should be done very, very soon. I'm sure everyone has been reporting that. We spoke from Goal Nazar, who said that Chelsea have agreed beating four other Premier League teams with the player. So we are just waiting for this deal to be done. Um, Emerson, Alonso, Barkley, Michi. Michi to Leeds could still happen, basically. So we're just waiting for all of that as well. Um, hopefully we get at least 20 to 25 million pounds for this player because he didn't do well on the Lampard, Conte, Sarri, all these players, uh, all these managers, sorry, that he didn't really do well. And so hopefully we get all this money together, which we can spend on other players. So yeah, hopefully we see all that happening. But let me know in the comments below who you think will be selling 
this transfer window and why. But guys, if you enjoyed this content, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, hit the notification, tune in daily, make sure you tune in tomorrow, 8pm UK time, guys. Well, watch out, guys. I'm up. Peace.